SWOT is an acronym for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. The great thing about SWOT analysis is that you as a business analyst, in collaboration with your business partners, get to define the right level of granularity. You can perform the analysis on the organization as a whole, or on a business unit, or even on an individual. Strengths will be anything that the organization does well, which may include experienced personnel, effective processes, IT systems, customer relationships, or any other internal factor that leads to success. Weaknesses are actions or functions that the organization does poorly or not at all. Opportunities are external factors of which the organization may be able to take advantage. They may include new market, new technology, changes in the competitive marketplace or other forces. Threats are external factors that can negatively affect the organization. This could be their entrance into the market of a new competitor. It could be economic downturn or other forces. Strengths and weaknesses are internal to the organization. Opportunities and threats are external. Due to the strategic nature of this technique, your analysis, which is done in collaboration with the business, should produce at least four kinds of strategies for the organization. First, there's a strength opportunity strategies. Here, you want to identify how the organization can use its strengths to exploit opportunities. The second is the strength threat strategies. Here, you outline how the organization can use its strengths to ward off potential threats or how their threats can be turned into opportunities. The third kind is the weakness opportunity strategies. Here, you want to itemize how the organization can use an opportunity to eliminate or to mitigate a weakness. The last, but certainly not the least, is the weakness threat strategy. This strategy involves looking at worst case scenarios. Can the organization restructure itself to avoid the threat or should they consider getting out of their current market? I generally combine this technique with brainstorming and the result is terrific. Add SWOT analysis to your toolbox and you are well on your way to becoming a business advisor.